Okay, so we have our routes in here. You can see we have users routes, index routes. So let's start with index routes. We have our home page here, and you can see router.get forward slash takes us to our index. And so we we kind of want to figure out how exactly the flow of the website is going to work. Like when the when the person first visits the website, do we want them to land on like a home page, a landing page of sorts? Do we want them to go to a landing page and then a home page and then the post index? So these are things we have to think about. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it relatively simple. We'll keep the home page and the landing page kind of as one. So once you get there, then you can go directly to post from there. You can sign in from there, etc. So we'll save that one. Uh, that's going to be this one right here. And this came with the express generator. If you're doing it all manually for whatever reason, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you go ahead and create this one. So the title for this one, really the title for all of them is going to be uh, surf shop and then we can just call it like home or something uh, so here we have a function and if we're using ES6 which I would like to stay up to date we'll go ahead and change this to an arrow function so if you didn't see exactly what I just did there I just removed the function keyword and then on the other side of the parameters here I went ahead and added a what's called a fat arrow or an arrow or whatever uh, so it's just the equal sign and then the greater than sign. Okay, so now that we have our arrow function in place, we have res.render, and uh, this is our home page. Let's go ahead and start creating our post routes. So we'll save this file. We'll go over to routes, create a new file, call it post.js, save it, save it, and now we want to basically borrow the code from index.js that we have up here var express equals require express uh, var router and we'll paste that in again we're going to use const here so we'll go back over here and change this one to const as well okay so we want to create our first route inside of here and then module.exports router and the reason we export the router is so that we can pull it into app.js so we go over to app.js and let's see here. Here we have app use and app use for index and users. And then right here we have index and we have users. So let's go ahead and create another one. And we'll just call this one posts. And we will require routes posts. And so if we save that, this should be all set up. Okay, so going back over to our posts file, here we have our forward slash. Well, if we're using forward slash, then we need to mount this uh, routes to slash posts. So back in app.js, we scroll down here, and now that we have this variable available to us called posts, we can use it with app.use. So app.use, and then forward slash posts, and then we just pass in that variable. And what happens is anytime someone visits slash posts, they are actually hitting this root route right here. So this forward slash is actually slash posts. Okay, so that could get kind of confusing, right? If you're jumping back and forth from app.js to post.js, so how do we know that this is going to be slash posts? Well, we have a comment right here. It says get home page. That's because we borrowed it from index.js. Let's go ahead and change it to get posts index, and then we'll just say forward slash posts. And there's a period there. We can get rid of that. Okay, so we'll save that. And now you know that this is forward slash posts, even though it just has the forward slash right there. Okay, and so we have render index. This assumes that we have a view called index inside of posts. We do not have that set up yet, and we're not going to do the views right away. So first and foremost, let's just get rid of this whole thing and do a res.send, and we'll say slash posts. And let's see how that works. So over here in my terminal, I'm going to run node daemon. This starts up the start script for node uh, bin www. And that gets a server running over here in localhost 3000. OK, so here's our Surfshop home. Welcome to Surfshop home. You can see up top it says Surfshop home up here. And if we go to slash posts, then we just get slash posts. So we know we're in the right place. OK. So let's go ahead and create the rest of these routes. And just know that we're going to be using uh, the controllers as well. 
and that's where we're going to put all of our business logic for the application. So we will be putting a little bit of code in here and then we'll be actually directing it to the methods that are going to be exported from the controllers. And if you don't understand what that means, totally fine. We're going to go over it step by step. So let's go ahead and finish up the basics of these post routes and then we'll finish this video. You can take a break. You can go ahead and get caught up with all this stuff on your own and then we'll come back and we'll do the same thing for users and reviews. Okay, so copying this, we just paste it in. Now, if you know RESTful routing, then you know that the pattern is like this. We have a get route, right, for our index. And then we have a get route for our new. And then we have a post route that coincides with new, and that's for create. And then we have a get route, and that's for show. And then we have a get route, and that's for edit. And then we have a put route, and that's for update. And we have a delete route, and that's for destroy or delete or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this one will be slash posts. And this one will be slash post slash new, or mu if you're into Pokemon. And this one is slash posts, uh, just slash posts. And slash posts. And then we pass in the ID so that we can find the uh, post in question and let's go ahead and put the edit one slash post slash ID but then slash edit oops and slash post slash ID and then this one is also slash post slash ID and we're running out of space here and I'm using the wrong keyboard shortcut this is command click that I'm using on Mac to select multiple lines. I think it's control click on PC. Uh, hopefully you know most of these uh, shortcuts by now. Okay, so these are the routes that we're gonna be using. We already have this one for slash post. And now we're getting another one for slash new. And so this one is going to be slash post slash new. We'll save it. And just a quick test, slash post slash new. Uh-oh, what's going on with my server? Unex unexpected identifier, duh. Uh, I've put a bunch of code in here just willy-nilly and of course it's being read by the JavaScript file and it doesn't know what any of this is. It thinks that they're like variables or constants, whatever. So let me comment all of that out or just make it a little bit read uh, more readable. We'll put a multi-line comment, save it. And now it's restarted and back here, refresh. There it is, slash post slash new, sweet, okay. So now, if we go to here, we can whoop, select this and create another one. And we need, that would be create one, two, three, four, five. So three, four, five, I believe. Let's go ahead and put some spaces between these. When I select it, it to duplicate the line, that's Command Shift D on Mac or Control Shift D on PC again. I'm using Sublime Text 3. Um, if you're using a different editor, you'll have to figure out the shortcut or just do it manually. Okay, so we have slash posts. We have slash post slash new. So this is slash post slash new and get post new, get post create. It's not going to be a get, it's going to be a post. And then this is going to be get post show slash post. ID, get uh, posts, edit, post slash ID slash edit. And this one is going to be put posts update slash post slash ID. And we need one more. And so this is going to be delete posts destroy post ID. Okay, so we can get rid of these comments down here since we now have them with these ones right here. And so we have create, this is gonna need to be a post and then it's not going to new, it's going to forward slash. So we res.send, um, we can call this one like create posts. This is, this is just a string that's getting sent back so you know uh, where you're at. And then this is post ID, so this will be ID, and this will be ID, 
and we'll say show. And then this one will be edit. So ID edit. And we really could just copy and paste this whole thing. ID edit. So we'll call this one edit. We'll call this one update. Go ahead and copy it from here. Kind of speed up our workflow a little bit. And so this is ID, uh -oh. ID, uh, boop, boop, boop. I don't need that forward slash. Okay, and then the last one is going to be ID again. And this one is going to be slash ID. And we'll put delete. Okay, so now if we save this, we can go to post slash well, if we go to new, then it takes us to new. If you put anything other than the word new, then it takes you to show post ID because this value right here is considered an ID in the parameters. Why is new not considered an ID even though it comes after post slash? The reason is because we put new before we put the show route. If you ever run into a problem where it tells you something like MongoDB cannot find, a, it's like a cast error for slash new, the reason that's happening is because you put new below your show route. So always be sure to put the new route before the show route. Okay, so how do we access the post and the put and the delete, which I'm seeing now. I didn't put put in here and I didn't put delete in here. So make sure you do that on those two. And now if we save, we can't access them from the browser unless we have a form that submits to them. So we're gonna use a tool called Postman. If you don't know what Postman is, Go ahead and look it up, download the uh, web application. Actually, I think it's a Chrome application, but it's like a desktop application. And I'm pretty sure they made it with uh, some JavaScript framework. I forget which one. Um, but anyway, it's going to allow us to send requests. Colt went over this in his course. Uh, if you're not coming from Colt's course, then you may not know about it. But basically, Postman is just this really cool tool that allows us to send HTTP requests uh, to our API or any API for that matter and get back information. It's very useful, especially when you don't have all of your business logic written out uh, in your application. So I'm going to create a new request and I don't want to give it a name or anything. So I'm just going to click the plus sign here, new tab. It's a get request and I'm going to send it to HTTP localhost 3000 slash posts. And if we send it, it says slash post, that's what we get back, that's what we expected. We change it to a post request and we send it. Then we get create posts, so check, that's working. Now we go to boop, new with a get request and it tells us slash post slash new, so that's working. And now if we go to some ID here, so just some gibberish after posts with a get request, we send it and it tells us show post ID. Same thing, if we change that to a put request and we send it, then it tells us that's update. And then lastly, if we put it for delete, then we get delete. And don't forget the one that I forgot, edit, get request, post slash some ID, edit. And now we can see that all of our routes are working. Okay, so really simple. We just wired up our routes for the posts resource. And we're gonna do the same thing for the users uh, for the static, um, the static routes. So like our homepage, our contact page, about us. Um, I don't know that we'll have all those, but we'll have a couple of them for sure. And then like forgot password and register and login and things like that. And then another one for reviews. So we will be doing that in the next video, and we'll see you then. Thanks.